Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! Ailfer's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house?
Do not leave my side! children to spy and steal for your order to educate them give me a child until he is seven and I will give you the man or woman what use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart <laughs> taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated. And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. A pity. Goodwin said to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
Where you throw an earth? The digo, way honey. We bring up gold. And alto. Wait or they try. Eivor! Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. I said easy with my kinsbane. Old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. Your English mead, Goodwin? It tastes like cat piss. In Mercia, we would drink ten times this, and feast till our names were forgotten and our bridges were lost to the forest. Does that happen? As often as possible. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Sikhs is dead? The bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the bishop was the Sikhs, the Sikhs is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Eivor. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. Salwyn is dead. His lies poisoned everyone against us, and for what? Some only care for their own power and position. I am sorry I could not save your husband. My son is not an orphan today. You did more than enough. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Ilfirth? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ailforth, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are... Uh... Sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Ilfirth? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a wi-
stranger comes to Wimber. You do not mourn like they do. Wimber is always here. Helping the sleeping. Singing to them. So they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wimber helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff. What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept, they stole his face. Are we friends now? Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. I am sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. More than a sister should. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death? Have you no shame? Leave me. I know the burden you bear. Such a weight of sin you have taken on. And all for your brother's sake. I know he lives. No, he's... He said it was for the good of all. He... I am his loyal sister, and I tell you, he is dead. You hear me? Dead. Leave me alone. I cannot betray my brother. Guards, protect me! Um... No! Why will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelforth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. These tasks are so easy, I could do them myself, if I felt like it. Looking for help, so come back any time.
Aid me. Be my eyes. The Sikhs must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Clark or Abbott can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelferth is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds of the unrighteous are sown among our holy deeds like cockles and tear in a field of wheat. Education, wisdom, enlightened thought. This will raise us above the sins of our fathers. These I will demand of the next Bishop of Winchester. And so we meet to discuss all worthy candidates and choose the man who will shepherd our flock. The king is mine! By God, it's true. The bishop lives. Stand down, Goodwin. They'll kill us all! God save us! It's alive!